I have officially arrived in Spain, more specifically Valencia. Oh my god, I have the funniest and most random spontaneous story for you guys. So basically when I got out of the airport, I tried ordering myself an Uber and then the Uber was just not coming. All the drivers were busy. So basically every Uber kept on canceling. So I'm like, okay, fuck, I have to like take a taxi. And I really didn't want to because the Uber was 15 euros and the taxi was 40 euros. So I was like, oh, whatever. So I was lining up for this taxi and behind me i see this other asian girl by herself and in my head i'm just like do i talk to her do i talk to her do i ask her to share my cab or whatever and i was freaking out and i was like not sure if i should ask her but then at the very last second as i was getting into my cab i changed my mind i was just like yes i'm gonna talk to her so i turned around and i'm just like hi are you also going downtown like do you want to share a cab and then this girl was so happy she was like actually like because she told me in the car later she's like oh my god i was waiting for you to talk to me or like i wanted to talk to you too like because you rarely see asian people people in Europe especially also like we were solo Asian girls as well so we were just like talking and like really vibing in the cab and now we're gonna go to dinner together this girl is from Australia so now I actually have dinner plans with people you guys because as you know I've been solo and as you also know I like I said literally before this flight like I was I was just like in a bad energy energetic state and like none of my friends are here to cheer me up so I'm so happy that I reached out and like had the courage to like talk to her and then now I have dinner plans and a friend you guys Okay, <laughs> I sound like a loser. Okay, anyway, is this her texting me? Yes, okay, anyway. So we're gonna go out for dinner and drinks. I'm gonna bring you guys along, obviously, and then I will introduce you to my new friend. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys my hotel room right now. It's actually pretty clutch. So right by the entrance, there's this huge gap for suitcases, which is actually genius. Like, why is this the first hotel that I've seen this? I have a huge closet, which I, I'm not gonna unpack now because Oh my god, there's a there's a freaking fridge in here. <gasps> oh my god. Well, hello. Okay, anyway, point is, um, oh my god, wait, this is so spacious. I'm not gonna unpack now. You guys know I actually love unpacking like immediately, but because um it's 11:30 here in Spain, um, we're gonna rush to dinner before everything closes. But look at my room, it's fucking huge, which is so great because in the last room, like I said, I was really getting claustrophobic, which is why I think it was like attributing to the bad energy. And then um, this is a huge ass bed, it's a king size bed, and also there's actually a balcony, like it's not as good as the one in Portimao as I showed you guys but this is way better than the other hotel that I just had where I had no balcony this is also the bathroom bro this is Lux AF okay I'm gonna leave a list of places that I'm staying at but anyway off to dinner okay guys this is the restaurant for tonight um, unfortunately it's not Spanish but it is the only place that is open right now and it's almost midnight so it's an Italian place but it has a really great rating we're finally at the Italian restaurant meet my new friend hi we're having wine together some sangria cheers cheers yay and oh my god wait I have to show them your tattoo okay she has a tattoo that says Liberté and as you guys know I love this word and it means so much to me that I named my car after it And it's just not a coincidence that we met and you have this tattoo like <laughs> so wild This is just space. Yay! Oh, you know. Wow guys, this tuna tartare is so fresh looking. Wow. Okay, here's our pasta And then our truffle pasta I'm so excited right now Good morning from Spain. Today I am meeting up with Charlotte again, or Char for short, and we are actually gonna go to the Central Market. So this is the Central Market here. We are in Valencia, by the way, so just to be a little bit more specific about where in Spain we are. So this is the Central Market, and let me show you guys what's in here. This is just honestly a very typical market. I love shopping these markets whenever I travel as you guys know but unfortunately there is no kitchen in my hotel so I can't really make anything which is kind of sad but at least there is fruit I think I'm gonna get some fruit to go home with actually all right here's another angle and we're gonna go fruit and figs look who I just met up with hi okay we um, are just walking around and this guy convinced us to eat some oysters. I fucking love oysters, so why not? YOLO. Moby. Wow. Look at this. Oh my god. Yum. The seafood here looks amazing. Yeah, look at those shrimps. Yeah. 
This is amazing. Look at this fish market, guys. Oh, I love fish markets. Oh my god, guys. This is the first thing we are eating this morning. This looks so good. These oysters are huge. Look at, look at the size comparison. And then we're also eating this. Apparently, you can eat this raw. It's this shrimp here and this one. And he cleaned it for us, and we're going to eat this. We are ready to eat. This is what we got. We got two oysters. And then, yeah, come in. And then this is, we got some shrimp, raw shrimps as well. Okay, what should we try first? The oyster? This is the Venetian oyster. So these are the two sizes. This one's from, I think, like Northern Spain. Oh my God, oops. This one, the Northern Spain one is a lot bigger. I'll show you after I eat, cause like the Massive. juice. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Wow. All right, next one. That one was really good. This is even bigger. All right, cheers. Mm. Oh, this one's spicy, I mean, salty. Mm. I think I like this one better, the first one. Mm. The Venetian oyster. That one's a bit fishy. So we got both of this for 15 euros each. Okay, next, okay. <laughs> I love how I, I asked him if he eats ahead and he's like, yes, that's where all the flavor is. And I'm like, thank God, because like mm -hmm. Asian people love shrimp heads. Mmm. Oh, you had the smaller. Mmm. Okay, time for the shrimp head. Wow. Can we take in that I'm just like in Spain eating a raw shrimp head? <laughs> I think I'm gonna come back every morning. I'm not even lying. This is so good. He's your new best friend. Mm -hmm. He probably thought this was a one-time sale. <laughs> Little oh, does yeah. he know I'm seafood obsessed. It's really good, this fish, uh, shrimp head. I was very surprised. Okay, time to eat this one. So good. Okay, this kind of looks gross from this angle, but YOLO, I'm eating it. <laughs> Wait, it's good. I used to choose it because it's quite hard to squeeze. Oh, I usually just like bite on it. <laughs> the smaller one is definitely really good. Yeah. Oh my God, albeit this is like obviously pricey because this is, I don't know how much in Australian dollar it is for you, but like this would be like, $20 I think. Yeah. Canadian. For what we just ate, we ate like four things. YOLO. Yeah. YOLO. Guys, everyone here drinks. It's 9 a.m. Everyone here is drinking at 9 a.m. This this couple here got a beer. The guys behind me got a beer. It's just so crazy. Like and these people are eating sandwiches. Like in Spain, there there's no concept of time. For guys, I just asked the waiter what they were eating because it was like a sandwich, and there was also like and like obviously they they all have a drink. So he says that this is actually brunch. It's very popular. So you have a sandwich, you have a alcoholic drink, and I forgot what else he said. But basically, like this is very typical. So it is nobody bats an eye for people drinking at 9 a.m. Just saying. Okay, guys, we are now renting bikes and scooters and we are going to see the city of Valencia. I'm so excited. It is already so beautiful. I'm so excited to show you guys the architecture. Guys, we've been biking around this park and Char's been scootering. It's such a beautiful park, honestly. I feel like I might do this a couple of times. But we are here in, I think this is like the arts building, but this is pretty much modern day Valencia. So where we were was kind of more like the old town. And this is where all the modern architecture is. It's honestly so beautiful here. Okay, not to be biased. Actually, I, what? no, I'm not biased. I genuinely feel like I like Spain a lot more. Okay guys, this is so beautiful and there's even a Valencia sign right here. And then, wow, look at how modern the city is. I feel like I'm in the capital from the Hunger Games. You can canoe here. Oh my, oh my god, that's so cool. And there's even like a water scooter thingy here. 
I love how that guy is just like walking in the water. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here and enjoying a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys, I'm currently at lunch now. So basically Charlotte just left. She's going to Malta to like meet up with her friend. Um, like I said, we just literally met randomly. Um, so she was never supposed to be here for very long. Um, so the rest of the trip in Valencia, I am solo again. Um, so I'm at this seafood restaurant and I'm very excited because I just want to try everything. And you guys know how much I love seafood. So I'm gonna show you everything. Hey guys, I'm discovering this is not a traditional restaurant. You do not order at the table. So you actually order at the counter and this woman is going to show me how to do it but basically we're going to look at all the seafood and we're just going to order from here it's from here right it looks so good okay so this is all the seafood okay wow i love this prosecco here is different than sparkling wine guys can you tell how happy i am i'm literally so happy okay so this is prosecco and our first dish is going to be scallops so this is what it looks like i'm eating the scallops raw yeah i need to get um, so good wait i might get that too honestly i don't i don't even care guys i love it here their snack is nuts oh my god i love spain okay some of my food has arrived so like i showed you we got raw scallops we've got some raw oysters and we got this bad boy which i'm also eating raw but guess how much this thing is this is like 20 euros for one 20 euros like i'm gonna have to eat it as slowly as i can like literally all right guys first impression of the scallops here we go we have some lemon Squeeze it to like my scallop. Oh, move over. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I haven't had raw scallop in a long time. And I've never had raw scallop with the with like this thing right here. Like what is this? I don't know. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna try it without the Tabasco. It has a very fishy taste. I feel like some people would like it, other people would not like it. I love it. I love the fishy taste. That's why I like it raw. Mm. That was phenomenal. Honestly, guys, this is probably the best food I've ever had. But you know what's ruining this? I sprayed on a little bit of perfume and now I can smell the perfume and it's honestly ruining the vibe. So do not spray on perfume before you go eat good food, okay? It like really, really taints it. We are gonna try the oyster. Look at how big and juicy this baby is. Oh my God, that went in my eye. This is now the third oyster I'm having of the day with some Tabasco. This is a French oyster. Okay, wow. That was really good. Oh my god, that was really, really good. This is starting to be a mukbang channel, if you guys haven't been able to tell. Second oyster. I'm ready. This oyster is so good. Should I get more? Oh my god. Okay. Mm. Next, we bought the twenty dollar, twenty euro bad boy. This is also raw. I love eating things raw. Are we ready for this? I don't even know how to eat this. Okay, hold on. I think this is how you eat it. I'm not really sure. Okay, I pulled out the guts. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. And then now I'm peeling the shrimp. Okay, guys, this big ass red shrimp. I'm just peeling away NBD. Putting on some lemon. Putting on some lemon. 
and the head of course you always eat the head and then i'll put on some tabasco all right i'm gonna eat it i'm actually gonna eat it piece by piece because i want to savor it okay are we ready here we go because it's <laughs> Thank you. I'm dead. The chef saw that my lemon fell from the kitchen and he just like gave me a new one. I'm actually crying. And they also, I love how they also like know to eat the head. Yo, eating the shrimp head is so taboo in North America. And I would just like to say, even Spanish people know to eat the head, okay? So if you're watching this and you're grossed out, you're the problem. You are genuinely the problem. Okay. Ready? We are gonna eat the rest of the shrimp right now. Oh my god, honestly, it's so good. Everyone needs to try. Okay, I'm gonna eat the head now. Wow. Absolutely unreal. Okay, guys, time for clams. These are the clams. Let's go. Okay, I like the Spanish seasoning of clams way better than the Portuguese seasoning. I'm sorry, Portugal. Oh my god, this is so good, honestly. Okay guys, you know I'm very adventurous, so I got these things. I know it looks gross, it looks like a dinosaur claw, but if you guys watched the previous Portugal vlog, then you will know that these are barnacles. People in Europe eat barnacles, unlike judging North America. Thank you so much. So pretty much with the barnacles, she just taught me how to open it again because I learned how to open this all the way back in Portugal, but honestly, I forgot. So... Let's try this. She already opened one for me. I'm just gonna eat it first and then I'll try it myself. This is what it's supposed to look like. Whether or not I'm gonna open it like this is a different question, but. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay. Okay, so you're supposed to push down and twist. Oh wait, that was actually really easy. Wait, did you guys see that? I'm a pro. Okay, hold on. Okay, so here you go. Open it like that. That one's kind of like this. Like, wait, guys, I'm a pro. Look at this. Look at how fast I'm opening these. Wow, hello. Am I? Maybe I was Spanish in another life. And they were telling me how I need to like open it. Okay, this one failed. But they were telling me how I need to open it from downwards because there's a lot of water. So they were like, do not ruin your outfit. I like these people. They know. They just know. So I'm going to spray all the lemon. And then we're going to get eating. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, this is exactly why I love Europe. Because at the end of every meal, they always offer you a free shot. Okay? I mean, it's not like tequila or like vodka or whatever. But it's still like... It's just so nice to have complimentary dessert, okay? I mean, also you're paying for water there, so like, whatever. Anyway, this is a drink that is from Spain. So this is like, if you go to Italy, they give you like free limoncello shots, which by the way, I fucking hate. Like, it tastes disgusting to me, so I don't know that should do that. But honestly, I cannot stand the taste of limoncello. I just take it because it's free alcohol and I want to get buzzed, okay? So I take it for the wrong reason, not because I like the taste of it. But here in Spain, she offered me five, and all I did was I was just like, okay, what's your favorite? I was like, I don't freaking know. Um, so she says that this one is her favorite. This is rice cream. So not ice cream, rice cream. And there is a sprinkle layer of cinnamon on top. So I'm gonna try it and I will give you my honest opinion whether or not I like it better than lemoncello. Honestly, the bar is very low because I don't like lemoncello. So cheers. Wait, I really like this. I can keep on having shots of this. And the cinnamon was such a good touch. Whoa, you guys, this is really good. Even if you don't like shots, I think this is something that...
I just finished paying for the meal at the restaurant and as I was paying, my waitress was like, hey, I was wondering what's the name of your channel because you look really familiar and I wanna know if like I actually follow you and stuff. And then so I wrote it down for her and she's like, oh, I definitely follow you. She's like, I kind of knew it, whatever. And then she's like, my boss also follows you. She just like wanted me to verify. She like kept on asking me to ask you for your handle and everything. And honestly, at that restaurant, like not only was the food really good, like one of the reasons why I went there was because I literally saw someone commented like one of the best seafood I've ever had. It was like really fresh and everything. But then also like the servers and everything were so nice. The girls were just beyond nice. Their energy was just so great. I feel like just in general, I'm just having such a great time and I'm so grateful. I even took the time to message the person who suggested I come here to thank her because honestly like I'm just having the best day and like I'm just so grateful that I'm here and I'm grateful that the energy has kind of switched around for me because as you guys know I was in a funk in the last few days of Portugal so like this honestly now that the energy has turned around again I knew like maybe the feng shui in that hotel was bad I don't know what it was but I'm just so 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 grateful I am happy again but in the meantime I just want to show you guys Valencia like this place is easily one of my favorite cities I have ever visited. It has everything I want. And look at the buildings. Look at how pretty this is. But one of the reasons why this city has easily become my top favorite is because A, it has all the activities I like. Biking, as you guys know. It is near water. I'm gonna go to the beach probably tomorrow. It's just today I was already like, scootering around like whatever I'm kind of just like I'm just gonna keep on doing all this stuff so I think I'm gonna go shopping right now there's great shopping my favorite store is here as you guys know I always rave about Oisho I'm literally walking there right now so there's Oisho and then also because we're in Spain and Oisho is owned by Inditex which also owns Zara and Berksha and Pull and Bear and everything so because of that like we are in Spain so the prices of these stores including Zara and stuff it is going to be cheaper here so the shopping is great in Valencia the price of stuff is actually not too bad the seafood actually was a little bit expensive but I can't tell if it's just because like it's expensive or just like this type of seafood would be expensive anyway sorry I just saw a shoe I really wanted okay anyway so I or I wasn't sure if it was just because like this type of food in general is it expensive or if it's just expensive here I'm gonna say that it's probably just expensive because like this is pretty close to the ocean so I'm gonna assume that it has nothing to do with the city itself. So anyway, we have activities, biking, the architecture is beautiful. I can take wonderful pictures here. It is safe, it is not touristy, as touristy as like Rome and all that shit. So like, oh, everything about this country, I love. And there's seafood, oh my God. I honestly think this is definitely not gonna be the last time I'm here. I'm obsessed with this place. I'm gonna be coming back a lot. And so far it's safe for solo traveling. So if you guys are interested, I definitely recommend coming. Just like how that girl recommended coming to me. Okay guys, I just finished shopping. I bought the entire country, honestly. Like I spent so much money. Um, I'm gonna do a haul when I get home, but right now I'm actually all dressed up um, to go to a tapas dinner by myself again. So so I'm gonna have some dinner. Um, I have been loving dating myself, honestly, and going to restaurants alone. I, I would never be able to do this back at home because I just feel like I know people are gonna recognize me and I'm gonna feel like, I don't know, just like self-conscious and stuff. So I'm very happy that I get to do it here. Anyway, so I'm actually going to a tapas place and yeah, I'm gonna show you where I go. This is the tapas restaurant I'm gonna go to and it's extremely well rated, I guess, but it looks really busy. So I'm gonna see if I can get a table. If not, I'm gonna go to another one, um, but let's give this one a try. Hey guys, the previous restaurant was not a vibe. So I'm gonna try out this one and see if this one works. Okay guys, I am currently here and I just got a plate of tapas and I feel like these people think I'm crazy because I was like waiting at the front for a table like a normal person with the host you know I was like waiting for the host and I think they were all just kind of like lol just sit down like this is I don't know this is like a restaurant I didn't treat it like a coffee shop you know but I think everyone just like grabs a plate and there, he was explaining to me he's like do you know how it works I'm like clearly not he's like you just grab like whatever they count the sticks at the end and that's when you pay um so this is like very novel to me and I just got a beer so cheers everybody 
another date for myself. But yeah, this is really amazing. I've just, I realized I've never been to a tapas bar. First bite, this was actually just served, like she walked around with this, so let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm, good. Mmm. This is what is on the inside. Okay, that was phenomenal. I think my new strategy, just so I don't keep filming for a long time, is I'm gonna just take quite a bit. So this next one has salmon on it. So let's give this one a try. Mm. Okay. I feel like it's quite typical. So that's why I wanted to have like something comfortable on my plate. This next one is not comfortable for me. It doesn't actually look appealing. But as you guys know, I'm quite adventurous and I just like like to try things that I can't try back home. So I would never be able to find this back home, okay? So I decided to get this and go out of my comfort zone to eat this. Um, so let me tell you how it goes. Wait, actually not bad. <laughs> this is actually quite good. The next one is also very out of my comfort zone. I have no idea what this is. Like I literally could not tell you if it's vegetarian, if it's meat or fish. Like, oh well, yellow. I still don't know what it is, but it's really good. Also for context, you guys, I'm not a big eater. So if anyone is wondering like if these are actually good, like they're good to me because I'm not a baby eater, but yeah, I have no idea what this is, but it's good. All right then. This lady just came over with a new one and this one actually looks really exciting to me. It's a beef one and I feel like the beef is cooked perfect. So I'm gonna give it a try. Wow. Mm. Hello guys, I am back from dinner. Honestly, I feel like either that restaurant was not very good to be very honest with you. I feel like the tapas, it was like, it was good, but the bread wasn't like super fresh. I also think that like, I just maybe like for dinner, like, like regular stuff, I don't know. Like, I don't know, it's weird because I've been to Spain before and I've loved tapas, so I actually think it's just probably the restaurant that I wasn't like into and the food wasn't as fresh as I'd like it to be, to be honest with you. And anyway, so I am back. I'm ready to do my haul. I'm gonna do a haul up to um, everything that I've purchased in general in Europe. I might not be able to cover everything because I've already started wearing some stuff, but I will show you guys um, the things I got today for sure. And then I will show you guys some of the things I got in Portugal as well. I feel like this is a very common thing in my solo travel vlogs where I'm literally just like sitting on the bed and showing you guys what I bought. As usual, this is not gonna be an official try on haul, okay? This is part of my vlog, so it's not gonna be official. Okay, starting with Oisho, because if you guys are new here, Oisho is like my favorite store in the entire freaking world. It is a company that is also owned by Inditex. So the parent company of Zara. So it actually owns Zara, Pull and Bear, Berkshire, Oisho, probably some other ones, but these are the main ones. So the only one that is available in Canada is Zara. So unfortunately we don't get to shop it. That's why every single time I go to Europe, I go ham on these other stores, um, especially Oisho. That's like the one that I always have to buy. So I'm going to go through the haul as of today. I bought 15 items for a total of I think 295 euros but everything was pretty much like all on sale as you guys can see like 50% off like 30% off I think it's because like it's August maybe they're just trying to get rid of summer stuff nonetheless let me go through my items so the first one that I got is this beach cover-up I realized when I got to Europe that there are so many people with like nice cover-ups and I just don't have like a very easy cover-up so I pretty much got this one because it's just like a very easy like throw on and I actually think that this might look really good with like a belt so I think that's how I'm gonna style it maybe I'll show you guys or take some pictures tomorrow at the beach but this is what it looks like and you can see that it was 30% off which is why I think the haul overall was not too expensive considering I got 15 items 
the next set of stuff I got is this set. So I got these linen pants. I just absolutely love this neutral color. And this also came with a linen shirt. So I've been buying a ton of linen shirts. Even like before I left Canada, I bought a bunch from Zara. Um, so I've just been doing a lot of these hauls. I think I just really like how basic it is. And this also came with a top like this. Yeah, it's just like, it's really cute. They're all the same color. So it's just gonna be like a very cute cute matching set. I'm gonna show you guys one pieces now. I got two one pieces. Um, I'm very, very into one pieces lately. In fact, I actually think I have more one pieces than two pieces. Um, I think it's because for some party, like for, for some beach parties, one pieces actually look sexier in some of them. Um, and the second reason obviously is because you guys know that I surf now. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just kidding. No, but like I'm gonna try to surf a little bit more So I really want to collect more one pieces and they have some really cute ones So this one is like this really nice green color and the detail at the top is just this like tying thing So I got that one and I also got it in black they also had it in red, but I was honestly like, okay, I shouldn't spend too much money. And also I think it started looking a little similar to the ones before, but black one pieces, you guys are like my biggest weakness. I have so many black one pieces. So this one, I just like how staple it is. I think it's gonna be so great for surfing, honestly. Um, and just like, it won't like, you know, just, I don't have to worry and like have like my bathing suit be super high maintenance. The rest are actually, all bathing suits now so i'm just gonna show you what i got in terms of bathing suits so the next bathing suit i got is in the color brown this one is once again also you guys can see the tag 30 percent off this is a high waisted set of bottoms um and the top here is just so sexy it's like just one shoulder so i feel like this is very practical and like i won't have to feel self-conscious um it's super comfortable and i think it could actually look really good if i wear it to a party this one i got in two colors this is just like the most typical bathing suit you could ever get i actually had to size up to a large because the small the triangle was literally like the size of a nipple, okay? I was like, what the fuck are you gonna try to cover? Even with my boobs, I was like, what? So I sized up all the way to a large, um, just so I can have more coverage because I'm not trying to kill my mom early right now, you know what I mean? And then the bottom, I actually already have this bottom, but the reason why I got it is actually for two reasons. I actually realized, because you guys probably know by now, I'm kind of a germaphobe. I realized that with bathing suits, the reason why they're so annoying for me is because every single time I wear a bathing suit, it's like, I have to like wash it in the washing machine or or hand wash it before I can wear it again because I just feel like, you know, you're under there is like touching it. So I'm just always like, ew, it's kind of gross. So I actually want to collect more black bottoms just because like they're so versatile and then I can at least wear the tops over. Like this part I don't think is gross, but I feel like this part is gross. And then the second reason is because I already have this exact bottom. It's actually in the one post that I posted in Mexico. One of my posts I was like, quite liked I guess um where I was like posing with a two-piece they're both from Oisho and the bottom's also from Oisho but I found that I think I it was like a little too revealing because I think I got a size small so I sized up to a medium I honestly don't mind sizing up and down in bathing suits because honestly it's all fabric and everything is like so adjustable you can like tie it I had a video come out recently about how to style your body and one of the things that I said was just like not buying sizes that you are trying to strive for and I think one of the learnings also from that video is just that like i realize that nobody looks at your sizes i mean like besides me right now when i'm announcing it to everybody but like when you're out on the beach people aren't gonna be like she's wearing a size small or she's wearing a size medium like whatever like nobody cares nobody knows so buy the size that actually fits you because what people actually will see if it's like damn that looks really big on her or damn that looks really small on her so you might as well buy the right size because nobody fucking knows if it's a small medium large like whatever so just buy what looks good so for me for example this bathing suit i have a large and i have like the tiniest boobs and then i have a medium for a bottom so I don't care as long as it looks good is kind of now my new theory so i got that in like the black and i also got it in the red now the next bathing suit it's gonna look quite similar but i assure you it is not okay this one as you can see there's no tie on the side so it is different actually when i first saw this i kind of thought it looked like a diaper 
I still think it kind of looks like a diaper, but honestly, I don't even care anymore. But then the top is also really cute. The top, the detail I especially like is this part right here where it's like tied together. I just think it's so cute. Um, I just feel like I don't have enough black one, two pieces because I always wear the same one, the one that like goes right across. So I needed to get some more black ones. And then the last piece I got was another brown um, bathing suit. And this one is also like a string one. This one actually is different than the ones I have showed you because instead of just one string there's two strings that tie at the top but this is actually so annoying when I was in Portugal this bathing suit had the bottom but didn't have the top in the brown and then now that I'm in Spain they have this in the top and not the bottom so I was like damn it had I known I would have bought the bottoms in Portugal and then bought the top here so hopefully when I get to Barcelona um, I will be able to find the brown bottoms okay and then the next clothing item that I got today was just this really simple sweater from pull and bear I just feel like this is gonna go with so many different things um, especially like black skirts white skirts gray skirts whatever like it's just very easy to throw on and I think like this part has a really huge opening I think it'll look cute if I have like a bralette and it just kind of like is peeking through so I got that and also by the way if you guys are gonna shop in Spain this is the kicker okay shopping in Portugal if you want to get tax free you need to spend 75 euros before you can actually get the tax free but then in Spain there is no minimum so I bought this sweater for 20 euros and I'm like do you guys have tax free and she's like yes and she gave it to me so that was really worth it and then lastly I went to this store I'm gonna have to leave the name for it I want to say it's like it's called like Danny or something it's a beauty store I'm assuming it's kind of like shoppers beauty vibes like or kind of like a Sephora yeah I would say more like a Sephora and I went to their hair section you guys and oh my god there are so many products for curly hair like curly hair wavy hair whatever you want to call it because i just feel like when i go to sephora or any i guess like shoppers drug mart or whatever back home there is like not a lot of curly hair product selection and I always have to choose between a few and sometimes like companies are nice enough to send it to me but I can't really find them unless if I buy them from online but when I walked into the store I actually have to show you guys when I walked into that store in Spain there was like, like an entire wall dedicated to like curly hair people I was like oh my god I need this so I'm trying a new brand and I could only buy the travel size honestly because look at how much stuff I'm buying I cannot afford to buy a full size so I'm trying this brand I think it's called rules and I feel like the label is actually really cute because like the L is like wavy so this one is a curling cream and a curl leaving conditioner so I'm very excited to try this um, and I also bought this because I feel like I don't think I've seen this in North America, but if, if it is in North America, I'm actually gonna laugh at myself because why did I buy this here? Um, but it's a frizz control, it's a serum. And as you guys know, during humidity, I literally look like a Monica from Barbados in Friends, if you guys are Friends fans. So I needed like a frizz control, although I will say that I have gotten a lot better at controlling my frizz. I need to show you a picture of like day one of me being in Portugal. And then now that I'm like, have been in Europe for a long time, how I've like learned to tame my own ways. But like, my God, like when I first got here, I literally looked like a lion. Anyway, the last thing I got, I, I honestly really didn't want to get this because as you guys know, I get my nails done, but I had to buy nail polish because my toes were just looking so freaking crusty. And I think this was also a big learning on my part. As you guys know, because I travel a lot, I always try to like reiterate and like figure out what is what I've done well in packing and what I haven't done well in packing and one of the things that I learned this trip especially because I'm gonna have a lot more surfing trips in the future is that I definitely need to pack my own nail polish and nail clipper because I got my toes done and as you guys know I don't know when, whenever you get your toes done it just feels like you could have World War Three, and your toe nail polishes will still fucking be on but apparently not if you go surfing because all of mine fell off and I only have color on my big toe now, so I ended up having to just like buy this to, I guess, like color my own toes. So I had to buy that. That was actually kind of like a resentful purchase because I was like, oh, like I really, I have so much nail polish at home. I really didn't want to buy 
another one. Okay, the next story I want to go through is a store called Intimacy. This is what, this is the logo of store. It's actually an Italian brand. It is a like a lingerie pajamas brand. And I bought a lot of stuff from here as well. The first product that I got is this long slip dress. By the way, everything is 100% silk. So this was not cheap. I have to be honest with you. Okay, so as you guys know, I bought 15 pieces from Oisho for like 294 euros. I bought like four items and this was like 500 euros. It was insane but this is all 100% silk so i bought this like really really long silk dress i wanted to get this because i feel like the aritzia one was starting to look very basic to me like i could literally spot someone from the street and i'd be like aritzia like i am starting to want to wear clothes where i want to wear it and you'd be like where is that from you know not like you you see me down the street and you go melina pant like not like there's anything wrong with it and i have two pairs of melina pants i am not judging i'm just saying that like for some other things i want to walk around with just a little bit of mystery you know just like a little bit so then the next item that i got this is already posted on my instagram if you guys follow me there which you should um i'm just saying okay so it's like just this nice little slip dress for sleeping if you guys didn't know I fucking hate wearing pants when I sleep. I think it's because it rides up and then like in addition to my underwear, it rides up and then it just like gives me this massive wedgie. So personally, I like to sleep with like a large t-shirt or I guess like now just dresses because this is like a more appropriate, I guess like sleepwear because if I just wear a t-shirt and my ass is literally hanging, like I can't bring that to a cottage with my friends, you know what I mean? Like I can't just have my ass hanging out there in front of guys, like my mom didn't raise me that way. So I feel like if I wear like more, like especially this one, this one's also from Intimacy, I've been wearing this to sleep every night while I'm here, but it's just so cute. It's like, this is what it looks like, it's just a dress and it's very comfortable and you can go to sleep with it and yeah, and you can just like, I don't know, it just like makes me feel good and then also, I used to wear like ugly ass clothing when I go to sleep like I I would get free t-shirts and I'm sure you guys have too like you have free t-shirts from like clubs you join or like whatever and that's usually what I wear to sleep but then I started like realizing like just like how you want to feel good when you go outside or whatever like I started to realize like I also want to feel good about myself when I'm at home because I think it really builds my energy in terms of like work sleep it makes me excited to go to sleep i'm like oh my god i look so cute even though nobody's watching i'm like i look so cute like whatever i think it really is like an energy booster if you are someone who is unaffected by this stuff then yeah this would be a waste of money but i am someone that is affected by this stuff so looking pretty going to bed even if literally as you guys know i'm single as fuck nobody is gonna like look at me when i go to bed but at least like I feel good about myself, you know? So I started adopting this new philosophy and I gotta say, I really like it. I've been going to sleep very well, I might say. So I, yeah, I started getting rid of like my old club shirts. I only keep the ones that are like truly meaningful to me now, um, but like ugly clothing, like throwaway clothing, I don't have a lot of anymore. I still keep a few just for like backup, just in case, you know, like if you're moving or like whatever, like you don't wanna get, your clothes like snitched or whatever it is like obviously have some like backup reg clothing for you but for the most part i want to you know have this philosophy for my life as well then i got it in white so it looks like this honestly this one i'll probably wear just for myself like i would not wear this in public because it's quite see-through but i it does make me feel uh schmexy so you know i definitely will still wear that and then the last one oh my god this was a splurge i honestly think i was upsold and i honestly am like easily influenced so it was a it was kind of like a very last minute yolo decision i don't even want to tell you guys how much this robe is it actually pains me but it's so beautiful it's white and it's very very long and it's 100% silk and it's just really, really nice. If you guys didn't know, I have a huge robe collection. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see my robe collection. Maybe I can include it in my next at home vlog. But I have a huge robe collection. Most of them are from Europe. Not because I'm trying to sound bougie, like ugh, most of them are from Europe, but it's literally because we don't have a store like this in North America and the robes that we do have look crusty you know what i mean like the stores that have it like literally have snowmen on them like it is not the vibe so i'm sorry if they're from europe but it's literally because 
we have a lack of supply in North America. There is that and then oh my god I also shopped at okay this one you guys can kill me because I shopped at Brandy Melville while I'm in Spain like what was I thinking but whatever um I'll tell you why I shopped there though so let me just uh, get up okay before y'all judge me the reason why I shopped at Brandy Melville in Spain is because first of all Brandy Melville I don't even want to like talk about this online because their whole one size fits all motto are honestly I'm not like an advocate of but i really like their loungewear like even this top right here is from brandy melville and as i mentioned now that i'm even lounging around i like to look good now and it actually does make me feel really good about myself and it makes me more productive and like all of that so i realized that i actually do shop at brandy melville quite a bit but i found out that like their stores in different locations in different countries and at different times it is always so different like if you just wait a week and go to brandy melville i just feel like their stuff is different now i'm like if you are just one week late, you won't see any of the stuff from before. And then on top of that, if you shop at a different location, like I shopped at the San Diego, the Toronto location, um, the New York location, I don't see any of the same stuff, like ever. So for me, like if I knew for a fact that I could go home and find this, then obviously I wouldn't buy it here. But I just see a lot of stuff that I don't see back home. So for example, this top is the exact same top I'm wearing, but this is in like a forest green and it's really nice. So I bought this in like two sets. So the first thing is I bought two forest green tank tops. So that's the one that you saw. Then I have a basic tank top. Then I have this like kind of like booty short. And I also have these long um, flare sweats. It's actually very, very cute. I also bought this skirt for fall. It's very simple. It's just like this pattern here and it's in black and white. And then the last thing is I, I bought this like crew neck thing. It actually looks so good. It's very, very big, um, kind of actually like a dress, but I feel like it looks very, very cozy. So I absolutely love it. Um, these are the stuff that I got. Hello guys, welcome back to another day in Valencia. Um, once again, I am alone today, but I have gone back to the place that we went yesterday for some fresh seafood. You can assume that this is just going to be my breakfast from now on. This is what I get for um, living beside the market. So I'm going to eat this and then I'm actually going to also go and eat some fruit. Um, but this is, oh, I just cannot believe this is my breakfast. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm like taking a picture of my food right now. Cause as you should, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I'm up to today. I actually think I'm going to take some pictures and then maybe go to the beach later. Okay. Next up on my market food tour, I just got some of these things. I don't know. It looks very Spanish and I got the tuna and tomato and egg because that's the one that she says is her favorite. So I'm gonna give that a go and we'll see. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab some fruit and some juices as well. Hey guys, if you thought I was done eating, I am absolutely not done eating. Um, I am now having my coffee. Okay, obviously I need to have coffee. And then I found the cutest mini croissant and this is in white chocolate. Um, like I said, I like to try things that I can't eat back at home, so cheers. The croissant is too doughy. I don't love, but it hits the spot, and that's all that matters. Also, the little thing that I got earlier, I think I honestly should have just gone with my gut and get the one that I wanted because I was trying to be adventurous and I wanted to get the tuna, tomato, egg, like whatever. It's like non existent back at home either. And I'm just like not a fan here either. I just feel like maybe in general. Not as good. On to the next. I'm gonna get some fruit, some juices, and then we are off. Hi guys. Okay, so what was the last thing I showed you guys? Oh yeah, I was like picking out at the market. Um, so pretty much after that, I went to take pictures a little bit of everywhere. I actually returned one thing. Um, the item that I got from Pullen Bear, I actually returned. When I tried it on with what I thought was going to look good with it, it actually didn't look good. 
I thought it was going to go with everything, but it literally was like way too wide at the bottom. So I went to return that. I rented a bike and I came to this beach. The bike ride was so long. Honestly, I have to say, be careful what you wish for because this morning I was literally thinking to myself, I was like, you know what I miss? I miss working out every day or like doing some sort of physical activity because when I was at surfing camp, like God knows how many calories I burned per day, probably like a thousand a day. I'm not even joking. Surfing burns a lot of calories. Plus we had like on land training. We also had yoga. It was like three activities in one day. So I was burning like so many calories. And now that I'm at like on vacation on my own, I'm not burning any. So like I felt really fat. So I was like, I wish I could exercise in order to come to this beach. I guess I could have Ubered, but you guys know how much I freaking love biking. So I decided to bike and the bike was like 30 minutes one way. I'm sorry if the sound is really terrible because of the wind, but I'm now at this beach. This is what it looks like. I rented this like cabana thing. Surprisingly, this is cheaper than Portugal. So like in Portugal, this was 20 euros, but here in Spain, this is really unique actually. And I actually like the system very well because I think it drives more business. So you can actually just rent the umbrella for seven euros, or you can rent the chair for seven euros, or you can rent both. So I rented both, so it's 14, but I think it's smarter. It's a smarter business idea in my mind because I feel like a lot of the times you would rather pay like a smaller price and like have just one thing so i think this drives more customers for sure um anyway i am here with my spanish beer this is the san miguel tbt to our friend from portugal but anyway yeah i think i'm just gonna relax here for the rest of the day because i am so pooped from that damn bike ride and then um, we'll see if I can fit anything else later today. I actually have therapy today. Um, I like to do therapy when I'm solo traveling. Actually, I do therapy every week, so this is not any different. Um, I especially like doing therapy during solo traveling because I like to just have a check-in, you know? I also like hear therapists and students talking about like graduating therapy, but like it's been like five years and I refuse to graduate from therapy. I'm like, you are not leaving me, like hello. Um, I'm not equipped to be alone in this world, hello? I need my therapist, anyway. The other thing I wanted to say is that the intended beach that I want to go to is actually another 10 minute ride, but I was so sweaty and hot and tired from my ride that I just settled for this beach. But the beach that I was actually trying to go to is actually another 10 minutes, so. Hi guys, welcome to another day in the vlog. Today, I'm actually not in Valencia. I actually just arrived in Barcelona. I know I didn't really vlog my last day of Valencia, but that's only because I literally, all I did was travel. So I took the bus from Valencia to Barcelona. It was only 30 euros. And that's also considered expensive because I booked it last minute. Otherwise it would have been really cheap, but it was a four hour bus ride. And on the bus ride, I actually met a new friend. He's from Austria. It was really nice. He's also visiting Barcelona, but we just had a really good talk for like four hours. Holy shit. Like we literally talked the entire time. Anyway, I just arrived at my new hotel and you guys, I feel like okay, I need to sit this down because I'm so tired but you guys I honestly this is the most expensive hotel I have ever booked for myself and the only reason I booked this hotel for this expensive was because I got $455 off so I basically got one night free my ending total including tax and fees and everything ended up being 600 but that's because the first night was comped but there's still obviously taxes that weren't comped and stuff so it ended up being $600 for two nights it's really expensive still don't get me wrong but it was a use it or lose it credit like I either use the $450 a night credit or I lose it so I decided to splurge on the last night for this hotel and guys after spending this much money on a hotel I just I don't think I can go back like I'm so used to first of all if you guys didn't know the background like I literally grew up like or not grew up, but I literally spent months and months and months living in hostels like five years ago when I was a student because I was poor as a fuck and every single holiday since i always only try to keep my accommodations under a hundred dollars like i feel like last year solo traveling i would spend a little bit more than a hundred dollars because i was i just wanted to be safe and like have a good time since i was alone so i would spend maybe like 120 per night or so but this is the most i've ever spent on a hotel like five close to 500 dollars a night like i nearly fainted but i had a 500 dollars credit per night so that's why i did it but this hotel is so fucking nice so first of all it is called let me get the name 
So this is in Barcelona and it is called the Urban Passage Hotel and Spa. This is what it looks like. So first of all, upon entering and they already gave me, you know, a glass of champagne or not champagne, I, it's probably Prosecco. They gave me a glass of Prosecco. Also in contingent to everything that's happening, I also reached like a new status on my hotel membership. So pretty much now with most hotels that I book, if you're my friend, let me know if you want me to book on behalf of you because the perks are fucking sick, okay? So now I get guaranteed early check-in, guaranteed late check-out, and a free bottle of wine every single time. So watch, this is the free bottle of wine that comes with my new membership. Oh my God, I'm literally so excited. I feel like after this, I just, I don't know how to go back to living like a peasant, you guys. I used to live like a peasant all the time. I remember booking hostels for like literally $10 and even then I was like, can you do five? Because I'm like, I was like just trying so hard to save money and then look at me now. This is $400, bruh. What is happening? Okay, anyway, I wanna show you guys my hotel room. Oh, also I forgot to mention, when I got in, they even told me there's free wine. Oh, which is why I have to go soon. There's free wine, cheese, and meat every day from 6.30 to 7.30. Okay, so I'm gonna go get that because it's free. And then also, this is a hotel and spa. I get a free 30 minute spa interval every single day. I'm only here for two days, but still, because Spanish people eat extremely late, I'm definitely gonna go for the wine and cheese. Then I'm gonna go for the spa and then I'll go out for dinner but I am having the best time and I'm by myself. But anyway, I just wanted to show that. Um, thank you for watching. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh wait, no, hold on. I need to show you guys my hotel. Okay, so this is, wait, I just noticed this. Guys, what? that ADHD, come in baby, hello. Wow, that is so seductive, all right. Dear, I'm, I'm literally dying. Okay, so coming in. Oh my God, there's a, is this a yoga mat? Okay, so this is the closet. You come in and there's this bougie ass sink, hello. And then this is the bathroom. I already peed in here, so just in case you're wondering. Look at how fancy this is. Lastly, this is the room. I believe this is a smart TV finally. I forgot a speaker, so I really need this. This is the wine I was just showing you guys. And then this is a full mirror. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna go for my wine and cheese now, bye! Okay guys, this is the lobby of the hotel. Okay, this is very cute, very... Oh, there's even a dedicated computer, all right. Okay, and then we have this section here. This is, I believe, the restaurant and... Oh my God, this is the wine section. There you go. Hey guys, we're now in the pool and terrace area. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, let's look at the view of Barcelona. Oh my God, you guys. I am shook. Wait, wait. Okay, there we go, you guys. You guys, I just finished at the spa. I'm gonna leave a footage of the spa. It was so nice. It's literally like, there was a pool, there was a steam room, there was a sauna. So I am now gonna go for dinner by myself, of course. It's 10 p.m., but you know what? This is when people eat dinner in Spain. I know, it's crazy, but I'm just gonna be a local Spanish girl for today and eat dinner at 10 p.m. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm a little bit tipsy, not gonna lie, because I already opened the wine and I've been drinking it and I already took advantage of their free wine hour at 6.30 to 7.30. So I'm quite lit right now by myself and I'm so happy. I've literally never been happier. If you guys have never solo traveled, feel free to DM me because you don't understand. I'm gonna explain my entire analogy of solo, solo traveling later, but I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you guys to dinner with me and let's go get some seafood and tapas. Okay guys, I finally found a restaurant. Um, I don't know if you can hear me, I hope so. But the first restaurant that I chose is all filled up. I had a back of restaurant of course. So I got some sangria. Here is the food with the thank you. And I would like to know what else I get. Hey guys, the first item is some fried calamari. This mayonnaise looks amazing. Look at this thing. Okay guys, the next two platters have arrived. This is the salmon. 
my first bar. It's like, Welcome to another day in Spain. Today I am in Barcelona. As you guys know, I arrived yesterday. Um, so today's plan is, like I promised, shopping. We are visiting all of the designer stores today. We're going to Chanel. We're going to Dior, Prada, whatever you have it. And then we'll see what I end up buying. So I'm excited to take you guys home. Stop number one. I need to get some breakfast and some coffee. So I decided on this cafe right here. Okay, this cafe is also a bookstore, so I feel like the rating was actually for the bookstore, but we'll see. Oh my god, guys, I have not seen the Alma croissant until just now in all of Europe. Wow. Hey guys, okay, so I'm currently inside Prada, and this is so insane because I had a few bags and items on my wish list, so I'm gonna read you guys out exactly what I wanted to buy. So I wanted to buy a Prada sparkly bag, there's also a white Bobby Dior with strap, white Chanel loafers, the LV pouch, the white Dior belt, and a Dior scarf. So I already went to Dior and Chanel. Chanel didn't have any loafers in general. At Dior, they had the scarf and the belt, but they didn't have the white uh, bobby bag. So I'm currently at Prada. I'm debating if I should get this one or not, but they do have the Clio bag left and it was the last one in the entire continent. So I'm gonna get that one, <laughs> but I'm still debating if I should get this one as well. Cause I feel like it looks quite similar to the Cara bag that I have. So I feel like I don't know if I really need a double. And now I'm also trying on some shoes and these sunglasses are actually really cute. I really want them. I don't know. Hey guys, this is insane because I literally just bought it. And we have, we are holding on to the last fucking sparkly Clio bag in all of Europe. I'm literally like walking as though I'm a target right now. Anyway, but I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay guys, we are back in Fendi and after much debate with the girls in the group chat between the Dior and Fendi bag, I have settled for the Fendi one. So I'm just gonna show you which bag I am getting, but I will do a proper unboxing when I get back to the hotel. But this is the bag that we are getting today. I'm gonna explain during the unboxing why I chose the Fendi one over the Dior, but I'm excited to tell you guys. So, but I just wanted to say cheers when we are <laughs> buying another bag. Can we just, rewind back to the beginning of the year when I was like, no more traveling, no more bags, and here we are. So this year did not turn out the way I expected, but I guess kind of in a good way. So cheers. Okay guys, we just bought the second bag. I am also kind of drunk because they keep feeding me champagne. So there we are. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the designer stores and also kind of like the price breakdown, maybe later actually. I don't know if I have time today because I literally need to leave for the airport in five minutes, which is why I look so crusty right now. I'm so sorry. But I wanted to film like an Instagram unboxing, which is why I'm just gonna be showing you guys the products very quickly and also so then I can run to the airport. So the first product that I got is the Prada Clio bag and this one's in the sparkles. This was also the last one in Europe, as I mentioned earlier in the vlog. I am just so in love with it. It looks so cute and I feel like it's gonna be such a great going out bag and just like this is going to be my designer nice bag for going out. So we have that one. In Dior, I bought three things. I bought a belt. As you guys know, last year in Europe, I bought the black one and I was so in love with that belt. I wanted the white one. But I actually found out there's a belt like this where you can actually interchange the colors so i think i might sell my other black one because this one i get both colors for the price of just 50 euros more so if you guys are gonna buy a belt if you guys like the logo of this one which is the caro logo it has a shinier metal compared to the saddle logo that one's like a more vintage gold and that one probably will scratch less easier so that one um doesn't have the reversible it only comes in black or you have to buy it in white so initially i walked in to buy the white but then after seeing this one i was 
because like honestly I probably will just sell the other one just so I don't have to carry two belts with me at all times but I don't know we'll see we'll see the next item I bought from Dior this is actually a spontaneous purchase this is like the tiniest tiniest bag this is actually just gonna go on my side and this will have like a gold strap around it but I feel like this might be actually really good for going out so this one is the one that I have another one from Dior sorry I'm speeding this through because like I said I have to go to the airport in five minutes and then the last one that I got is this little scarf from Dior and this one just looks like this and it just it's really cute I think I want to wrap it around my bags this is this can also go around my neck or like even as a headscarf so I'm pretty excited for this scarf for sure and it just looks really really cute finally the item that I got from Fendi is this bag right here this is the mini baguette bag there was a huge debate on the bag so i'm excited to review this and then give you guys my full opinion on this bag because i actually tried it on a year ago and i finally got it this year so i'm excited to show you guys the feedback but anyway i'm headed to the airport now um i'm excited to come home actually i have a ton of work to do so i will see you guys in the next vlog bye